Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hello guys, today we'll be reviewing the 11th episode of season 15, Paper Girl. This is the sequel to The News Never Sleeps, a second Nelson and Antonia episode, except this time Antonia has quit a good job as a paper girl to go work at an ice cream shop. A bunch of Dijaga references as she lists flavors at this ice cream shop, such as Minty Moro, Spidgetsu Swirl, Banana Con, which is pretty funny. And yeah, so they are going to deliver papers on her last day when they drive past the Explorers Club. As we know, Kalmar and the Ninja are there, and Antonia actually gets the Storm Amulet. And so then basically this big chase plays out where Antonia and Nelson are riding away while Kalmar pursues them. At one point, he hijacks a garbage truck, and he and Kai run the garbage truck into the water. Kalmar takes the amulet and bails, and then Antonia decides to jump in the water to save Kai, who is drowning. And so Wu and the rest thank her for this. And, you know, pretty predictable, Antonia decides to keep her job as a paper girl. I enjoyed the first Nelson and Antonia episode, but this one is a bit better. I feel like its placement in the story of the season, it fits better. I think that this episode, you know, the difference in season 11, it comes after an episode where the ninja are locked up in a pyramid as Fira escapes. I personally would want to see more of that. But here I think it works because we get to see the ninja we get to see Kalmar. It takes all of these different elements and combines them very, very well without, you know, going away from the main story. Yes, this is a side story, but it blends so well with the main story that it doesn't leave you disappointed or underwhelmed. And yes, the bonus points automatically for bringing back old characters. Always nice to see Nelson and Antonia are both pretty good. I enjoy them. And speaking of references, Kalmar asks Antonia if she's an Oni, a Serpentine, a Vermilion, and also a mystic, which is a term I've never heard before. Perhaps that could be a reference to a future season. And then also the ice cream flavors. Banana Con is just a very clever reference, I feel. So yeah, I think the references in this episode are very good. We get to see more of Kalbar. The bike chase is entertaining. I also like that this episode kind of focuses on Kai. And I think generally this episode has a nice message that anyone can make a difference. And it's a basic message, but I think it's conveyed well here. Especially Kalmar's shock when he learns that he was nearly thwarted by a paper girl. So yeah, I mean, I think it's generally done well. Any issues with this episode? Well, I feel like what caused Antonia to want to quit? Because back in season 11, I mean, it seemed like she was very well aware of the dangers. But now here, she just wants to quit. We kind of go from point A to point B without any real in-between. I also feel like it's very basic to portray her decision to quit as Antonia, you're a quitter. I think that there's definitely more to it than her just quitting because she's a quitter. So I feel like they could have conveyed it a bit better or more complex. This episode's plot is a big win. It really feels like they've learned from the last episode. They have combined the side story with the main story nearly perfectly, I would say. As for characters, Nelson and Antonia are both pretty cool. And also Prince Kalmar and Kai are nice too, I guess. Action, yeah, I mean, the bike stuff is, it's all right. It's not my favorite stuff, but I feel like the high-speed chase was enjoyable enough. And then lastly, emotion. I think the message of this episode, again, basic, but definitely expressed nicely. This episode gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Overall, very enjoyable and a very fun episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, and I'll see you next time.